What's going on everybody? Welcome, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to make a loft in Bloxburg. Let's get right into it. All right, you guys, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna obviously wanna have the area that you want your loft to be in. Next up, I'm gonna go to basic shapes, I'm gonna go to the cube, and I'm gonna resize it all the way down. I'm gonna cover my floor with cubes just like this, and then I'm gonna use the transform tool. I'm gonna resize them up to however high I want them to be. For now, I'm just gonna go this high up on my wall. All right, now I'm gonna paint this whatever I want my ceiling texture to be. Fortunately, I really like this plank design and it works well on both sides here. Next up, I'm going to make sure that I use a structural here. I'm gonna make sure I have a floor and I'm going to connect uh, the standard square beam up to my build just like this. I'm going to go to the thin square beam and I'm gonna go along my ladder just like this and connect each side. Now you have your ladder up to your loft. If you wanna make a little railing, you can do that. Just go to the cube, make this resized and you can move it in just a little bit. I'd say move it into like maybe like right here and then just place it along just like this. Try to keep them pretty far apart. A good way to measure this is just going in, actually going into the mode like this and just measuring out like that. Resize these down to about halfway. Now go to the thin square beam and connect your beams just like this. This is entirely optional, but if you want more detail, you can just connect your standard beam down to the floor like this. After you're done with those two designs, make sure you go ahead and paint your railing and your ladder. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to make a floor up here and we're going to use the basic shapes yet again. Make a cube that is two blocks wide and make sure it is 0.5 in width. Then you're going to place it around just like this. Now you're going to place a cube and you're going to make it two and a half blocks wide. After you do that, you're going to place the cube and you're going to slant it just like this. And you're going to make it point up so that way it ends here in the center. After you do that, make sure you clone it onto the other side, and then now you're going to go into basic shapes, and you're going to go into the horizontal wedge. Make this as well two blocks wide, and then scale it up to meet your center point. If you've done this right, you should be able to clone it over and make your build look like this. If you want to add in some lights or more detail, make sure you add in the standard square beam right here. And then a cool little thing you can do is go right in the center here, and then you're going to go to basic shapes, you're going to go to the vertical cylinder, you're going to make this as small as possible, and you're going to use the landscape up light. Now you're going to transform it up, make it upside down, and then connect it to the ceiling just like this. Paint this whatever color you want, I'm just gonna make it match the beam, and then boom. Now you have an elevated loft, you're just gonna delete the floor right here, and it looks pretty darn cool. Now that I deleted my floor, I'm going to resize this down so that way the wall matches uh, with my basic shape. You should be dragging this down about 0.6, or 0.06, sorry. And boom, now you have your very own loft. Now you can put whatever you want under here and whatever you want up here, since you can place anything you want on a basic shape. This should work for any height, but if it doesn't, you can make it taller or smaller, depending on who you want to live up here. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye, everybody.